Brother gets a five. That's Good evening. Oh, that's my dress. Let me try that again. Good evening. I, when I speak, I look for people to speak back. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, okay. We're in church, am I right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I want to be around godly people then. Godly people always speak to folks. That's how I was brought up. My name is Leon Nguyen, and I'm running for the 6th Congressional seat. That's a seat Jim Clyburn is holding. My challenge is not wondering if I'm going to win because I know that I am. What's my last name? I don't know nothing else. It is my ability to do this. My challenge is not whether Jim Clyburn is going to get enough support to be victorious. My challenge is to get the Republican Party to vote. If the Republican Party steps out and vote, we can win this. Since I'm in church, I'm going to throw a little biblical. How much time do I have? We're trying to get you five minutes and we get everybody in here. Okay, because I'm a black blood born to get back to this preaching. Don't hold me down in five minutes. Don't go from Genesis to Revelation. Keep five minutes. All right. If you look at, if those of you that know the Bible, how many times do you think the word slave was mentioned in the New Testament, in the, in the Bible? The, King, the original King James Version, the word slave, you done heard me before. The word slave in the King James Version is mentioned one time, the word S-L-A-V-E. The word slaves one time. The word is bondage. The 6th District has been in bondage for over 20 some odd years with Jim Clyburn. In the mindset of those that are in the 6th district, they believe that he is invincible. And when a person is invincible, the community at large feel that no one can defeat him. I'm here to allow, to get you to understand that Jim Clyburn can be defeated. That's right. It's no one, it's not impossible. But the Republican Party is going to have to vote. One of the things that I'm experiencing, and I notice no one noticed that I'm black. <laughs> you just got that, right? I'm from the core, the pulse of the black community. When I'm talking to the black community, and I'm asking, when I'm telling them what I'm doing, I'm at all at, 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 at the response. You think that they would be resi resistant? I'm being in, embraced like you would not know. I was at the Baptist Convention at Morris College this week, and at the convention, some of the guys I knew that I would have opposition when I knew that they would challenge me because I'm running against Jim Clyburn, just dumbfounded me in the context that they they appreciate what I'm doing and they're embracing it. I have I'm having black preachers now that say, "When we're going to stand behind you, we're going to support you." He's not doing nothing in the sixth district, and we need a change. That's where we are right now. There's an undergirding movement to get him out there. But the Republican Party has to vote. If the Republican Party does not turn out in record numbers, we cannot do it. You've got to turn out. I'm going to tell you, i got about a minute. Yeah, a minute and a half. You have to, the Republican Party has to turn out. And even though the majority may not be able to vote in the 6th District, but you know people in the 6th District. You know people in the area. Phone calls. Bill was talking about volunteering your time, volu volunteering your resources. And I found out just recently, I'm, you know, I'm a faith-based person. I have found enough money to fund my campaign. I found it. I got it. Is that all right? But it's in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to make it happen. We just, today, we just all the... I think we just ought to flip the signs. We're getting ready to put the signs out. Because people have to know there's a name of it. I, I'm in the primary. I have an opposition. So I have to fight the primary to get to the next level. To get to the general election. We're going to get to the general election because we need your support and you telling people that Jim Clyburn can be defeated. In the Republican Party, my challenge is Republican vote. When I deal with the Democrats, which is majority of the black community, my concept in the context of my conversation is that there's time for a change. What is he doing or how him being in office have impact your life? And when they say it's not, then I can come into the, with, I can go straight at the juggler and I conclude by saying this. I was at the NAACP meeting several months ago, and you know, nobody there but black folks, y'all know that, right? NAACP meeting. I was asked to speak, and I got, got up and I said, how many of y'all hate Republicans? 
I'm, I'm so glad my wife was with me because everyone raised their hand. I said, then how many of you hate me? Nobody raised their hand. I said, thank God y'all don't hate me. And I said to them unequivocally, in less than three minutes, I'm going to make every one of you a Republican. And they said, and I said, bring it on. And here's how I start. Which one of you believe in same-sex marriage? Nobody. Which one of you believe in abortion? No one. Which one of you believe that the government should control all your finances? No one. Welcome to the Republican Party. <laughs> it is as simple as that. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, in my conclusion, the black, I, I don't ascribe to be politically correct. I said black and I said white. The black community in the 6th district, which is primarily Democrats, are willing to bring about a change. The Republican community, which is majority white, needs to join together and let's make this happen. We cannot do it without both entities working together. God bless you, heaven smile upon you. If you want to read more about me, go to leonwin.com and there's a donate button that you just push and it, and it guides you right through. We need your support. We can make this happen. God bless you.